Alright, this is a quick video coming on to show. I'm about to use the Terra Central's Mud Wash. I ordered it last week and I got it. And I'm really, really skeptical. Mama's willing to try anything, but I just think I need to have more patience with my hair. As you can see, it's gotten pretty long. This is a three-week-old jumbo twist on the side and braids going up the side. If you look above another video, I'll show some different styles I had with that. So I'm going to try it. It says I'm supposed to wash three times, put the Terra Essentials Organic Mud Wash, and this is the um, Lavender Garden, which I called the company, and they answered right away all my questions, and um, I'm going to try it today. Hopefully, I can give some good reviews. It's supposed to take a few weeks to detoxify, get all the plastics and chemicals, which I haven't had that much. I only, I've been using natural products, so um, we'll see if it works again if you want to. Try it. I'm not sure if it's backwards, but it's Terra Essentials Organics Pure Earth Hair Wash Organic Lavender Garden. And they're different types for different types of hair. So it's like a mud and you put it on you wash it off. So I'll see how it goes and I'll update and show pictures of how my hair comes out. So we'll go from there. Um, thanks. Have a great day. Okay, this is my next segment in my Terra Essentials um, Detox Washing. So this will be the fourth day. I started on Tuesday. So I washed my hair Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday. And tonight I'll wash it again. I know it's Christmas Eve, but whatever. I gotta get it done. And this is the result so far. I can see a difference. I must say. This is almost air dry completely. And you can still see it's kind of curly. And it's never... Curly and see the twist is coming apart as I'm doing through it now. It's not the shiniest. What I've been doing is researching on the internet um, the ingredients that are in the stuff I used to use and how I can make it myself. A lot of there are a lot of preservatives and waxes and things that I noticed when I looked it up on the web. So what I was gonna do is go to my local Whole Foods and see if I can get the ingredients and make a mix. And if you watch Kim A Tube, she has one, but she uses the Kinky Curly Not Today, which this is not it, but this is. It's pink and this is empty. I come clean. But so I'm gonna try to get some of the ingredients that are in that stuff and take out the preservatives and maybe put it in the refrigerator and go from there and see how that works. But anyway, here's the twist. And all I did was put some shea butter on it and twist it. And it looks okay. I mean, it's just hard to believe. So that's it so far, and I'll come back maybe at the end of the whole thing with a style. That's how it goes. I might actually wear a wash and go. It will be big and fluffy. But I don't know. I mean, it's, just, it's amazing so far. And hopefully the camera shows up. I never have curls like this when it's almost dry. Never. So, I'll keep it going. And come back in a few days and let you know how it worked out. Thanks. Bye. Hi YouTube, this is day six of my detox with the Terra Essentials Mud Wash Lavender Garden. And I'm still liking it. I'm going through the detox just to say I did it just in case. I can't say it didn't work. So I'm not really using unnatural products. I'm using Kinky Curly, Curls Daughter, and stuff like that. But I still want to detox. I'm also going to make some shea butter mix with some shea butter and some oils to put on when I twist it. I'm going to twist style it on Tuesday. And that will be day 8. So I'm going to wash it. I wash it tonight. I'm going to wash it one more time tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow. I don't know about tomorrow night. And then go from there. And then I'm going to twist it and maybe try to style it to keep in the moisture. Now I did get a little dry earlier today when I washed it. I didn't take any pictures. I'll show that. I might do that tomorrow. As you can see the curls are there and when it dried they sort of stayed but it kind of got out of whack so I'll try to take a picture tomorrow so it's still kind of dripping wet when I was in the shower it was just straight down it was curly fluffy and you can kind of see it oh that's a good shower right there you can kind of see it so my whole head was like that right now I'm just going to twist and then sleep on it kind of damp and then It'll be dry and I'll try to do something with it tomorrow. But I'll try to remember to take pictures of how it looks when it's completely dry. But this is nothing but the mud wash. I mean, nothing but the mud wash. And I'm really impressed right now. So this probably be maybe in part two or one. 
probably break up this whole video into two parts so it won't be long and drawn out. And I'll put results of my whatever style I come up with. So this is that, the Terra Essentials Lavender Garden Mud Wash. I ordered it online, I think it was 20 for the big one. And that's that. And it's almost a wash and go, but I wouldn't even, it doesn't look exactly like this. But maybe if I put moisture on it, it will. So we'll see how that does. All right, thanks for watching. Keep you updated on day seven and the style. Thanks. All right, this is a quick video. I'm sitting in the living room, playing with my hair. It's a snowy day. We don't normally get snow here. So here is my hair, and this is straight, washed, put into a big twist, and then taken down this morning. And as you can see again, you can actually see the ringlets, which never happens. And it's just about completely dry. So here is this, and it's not really shiny. I think I do need a moisturizer, but I'm working on that now. So as you can see, I'm busy. So I'll come back on later and with more results. Thanks, and peace out. Okay, I made it to the end of my seven days detox with the Terra Essentials um, Mud Wash Lavender Garden. And here are my results. And what I did was I made a shea butter mix with some shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, and I left out the vitamin E. And I got this re recipe from Natural, N-A-P-T-U-R-A-L 8585 off YouTube. And I made the recipe and I washed my hair this morning for the seventh time. Five, seven. Five plus two is seven. And this is my result. I twisted it this morning or earlier this afternoon. And I took one down to show. And I'm really liking it. It's really hard to believe that those two products, the mud wash and a homemade shea butter mix. And I did add aloe vera juice to mine to make the pH what it's supposed to be. And I don't think that hurt me. I'm still going to experiment. It came out kind of grainy, so I need to play around with the oils and shea butter. And I need to find a place to order shea butter in bulk. So again, let me zoom in close. You don't really want to see me. You want to see my hair. So hopefully, to you, it looks moisturized. Now, my ends do look a little a little dry. And it may be that all the cover-up is out of it. All the waxes and silicones and... All those chemicals are off, so it really shows how they look. So, I, mean, I can get away with it, but I may trim them soon. So, I can imagine if I took my whole head down and pulled it apart, and this is like one taken down and pulled apart twice, how it would look. It'd be a nice twist out. And my plan is to um, maybe twist these up, put the twist into a ponytail, or do some kind of other thing with it, because I still want to stick with my protective style challenge which does not end until March so I wore I did wear it out over the holidays once while I was doing this but it wasn't really outdoors which is out so again I appreciate the people who watched the journey this will probably be maybe a two-part video I know people don't really like long drawn out videos so again I hope that you want, might want to try it in the Terra Essentials mud wash lavender garden and some a shea butter mix by natural 85 she has a couple of, of mixes that you could try so those are the only two products and this is my hair and that's about it so i'll keep updating on my protective style challenge and how the wash turns out i did have some dry spots up there but i think it's okay now but anyway thanks i don't want to ramble on have a great evening bye